Hi there, Gemini. This is your May 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, before we start the reading, I just want to let you guys know and I want to apologize for the previous month that I was not able to do any love monthly readings for the purpose that you know we just had this you know breakout of the covid virus and all of that and i felt that you know it's not really very proper um to talk about purely about love and all of that because we have other important matters to deal with so i did hold off with that reading but we do go back into the love forecast reading this month of May because May is definitely going to be a very important mark for each and every one of us. Not only for humanity as a whole, but with our personal life and relationships as well. So for Gemini, let's get on with the reading. Um, so basically what I'm seeing here is that a lot of you guys are at the present moment like feeling very vulnerable um a lot of times it may feel as if you are in the clouds like getting confused like you know you are feeling a lot of things but i kind of feel that you know you might be getting confused on what you feel and the things that you want. There is an element here of confusion, deception, or maybe escaping reality all at the same time. So uh, there is a very feeling type of energy. And when it comes to love, this could be you um, thinking about what, is very important to you to the core is your happiness going to be the focal point of of your own feelings or are you thinking about a specific person in mind whether this is about wanting to find love or um, thinking about what made you feel in love in the first place what makes you feel really happy those kinds of things but right now i kind of feel that a lot of you guys are just enjoying the moment and wanting to have fun have a sense of adventure even though that the decisions that you make or have made is not the most realistic kind of stuff because i kind of feel that a lot of you guys have been easily swayed and easily influenced by maybe other people the environment or with the media all at the same time so um in this reading though for those gemini's that i'm picking up it seems as if maybe you have strayed away from a previous person that has been very important to you or maybe um you have entered a point of a crossroad in terms of your love life and relationships and instead of facing the issues and the problem uh, a lot of you guys have just decided to you know just ignore it go past it just have fun and all of that right now what is very important to you is to be happy to feel really really good about certain things and this is what you have been pursuing there are a lot of confusions that um, you are feeling at this time but with the month of may you are going to come across a situation wherein you will be forced either you are going to be forced or you will come to a point wherein you will have to address all of the confusion and misunderstanding so that some form of answers can be brought to light so there is a possibility that there could be arguments that can be triggered at this time especially we have this nine five of wands at the top of the reading along with the heart over here as the clarification card so this might represent an energy that allows you to to either have some form of 
um, let's say friction with a group of people or um, some form of falling out or confrontations and arguments when it comes to your love life that kind of situation and it can be very passionate all at the same time so this can be both healthy and not not so healthy at the same time but um, the thing that I want to give highlight to everyone here is that com communication is definitely going to be big. So this is not about just having arguments and confusion. This is about addressing things so that there are answers that can take place. We can actually say that something very karmic can happen in terms of your love life, your relationship and partnership. Something that is probably meant to happen is going to occur during this month so whether this is to fix a relationship maybe to end a relationship or to you know um, um, to tip off the scale of a stagnant relationship something is definitely going to occur within the month of May that gives you some form of truth and answer into certain things and by the end of the cycle this can actually lead to a better fulfilling life and love life for you after all of that struggle all after all of that confusion and all of that um, we are also seeing here that right now you might be doing things the way that you want it's like you're not caring anymore you're just doing things that makes you feel happy that makes you feel secure but you're not the only one who is feeling the friction the heaviness and the stressful situation so it kind of feels like um you are feeling that things are not happening in the way that you plan but at the same time, the other person is also feeling the same way. So it gets that feeling wherein there is some form of spiritual connection between you and the other person. And the both, the both of you are somehow um, feeling the same form of energies. And this will eventually lead the two of you to talk things out, to... Um, to gain clarity over certain things maybe it's about a relationship it's about a problem in the past those kinds of things so may could be the starting point of you know wherein you get to tell yourself that this is not about fun and games anymore because in the in the past i'm seeing here that you are just going with the flow what makes you happy if it's not gonna make you happy you're just gonna ignore it and you know um just let things be uh try not resolve anything but this is a time wherein you need to resolve something you will be forced to resolve something so that there could be something substantial something very concrete that can come to light in terms of your love life and relationships now what we are really seeing here is that there is definitely going to be communications so if you are in a situation wherein there are unfinished business between you and probably a person from your past or between you and your current partner wherein maybe the two of you are together but you're not speaking so much there are things that you are not um, being honest about not saying things clearly and trying to ignore the process and all of that this could be the time we're in you might need to you might need to really talk about it really um, take a look at the past uh, really to really find out things basically it is a time wherein progress has to be made whether you are ready for it or not basically so i i believe that this will make a lot of changes in terms of relationships for people um 
you know whether this is about to make the relationship much more stronger or if this is going to shake the relationship that is already on the rocky side you know that can lead to more um um scenario that can aggravate things much more it does not really tell us the outcome exactly of the situation of this reading but it is telling us here that whatever we have stopped in terms of communication before it has a, a continuing phase for the month of may there is something that we really really need to face and i cannot stress this enough this is really the biggest message here but right now um right now the number one thing that i want to to tell you guys is that sometimes your feelings and the things that on your mind might be confusing you a lot more so i would say that you really really need to think about the things that you're doing you know uh don't just act on things and say things without really think of thinking about it clearly i mean gemini is a very thinking sign so but I kind of feel that the energies here has a very intuitive influences, a very emotional influences. So if Gemini is a very impulsive, um, not really impulsive, but they tend to say to do things really quite random. They don't really think about things in a very, very important way like a Virgo will do. You know, Virgo really think, think about things to what is really important and then implement things but gemini is really more about okay i thought about this i'm not sure if this is re really what i want but i'm just gonna go ahead and do it but i really feel that you guys need to really think about um certain things this time around especially the decisions that you make and actions that you make this is a time wherein you will find out the truth and you will find out where you stand in relationships all at the same time there is going to be progress that is going to be made as well and some form of opportunities that you were not able to take before is now possible to be achieved all at the same time now the funny thing here is that we have here my astrodisis and we have mercury in the sign of pisces in the first house and just like i said there is a whole lot of piscean energy here very spiritual very emotional on all of that and mercury here is has a lot to do with our mind communication how we talk and all of that and in the first house this can really tell us that maybe you are not really in a position wherein you are you are really able to think things clearly so if you have a friend if you have an advisor or a reader maybe the decisions that you make try to ask their insight on things and to help you and guide you through things all at the same time that can be very very helpful and beneficial for you instead of just doing things by yourself and crash and burning all at the same time let us not forget in astrology wise we do have a lot of things happening in the sign of gemini but it's also making aspect to neptune so i really really like the feeling wherein our this reading is correlating to what is exactly happening in the skies during this time so and the fact that you know we are doing this gemini issue and gemini reading with all of this spiritual influences and then neptune all at the same time it gives us a feeling we're in you know there is a huge percentage and huge chance that this is definitely going to affect a lot of gemini's one way or another remember there's going it's going to be a busy time for me for a lot of you guys very busy indeed but um a lot it comes with a lot of confusion all at the same time so um make sure that the things that you say are very very sure and um and if you are going to be lying to someone make sure that you won't get caught because you know it's not just about you confronting the situation it could be the other way around it could be the other person confronting you based on the things that you are doing maybe in your past 
or the things that you have been doing all of this time. So um, yeah, there is definitely some form of communication coming in, whether that leads to a happy ending for a lot of Geminis out there, we really don't see at this reading, but opportunities to come to light, opportunities to manifest things, opportunities for things to progress are all in the picture for you guys gemini and this is the reading i have now for gemini and it is my hope that it gives you some form of clarity and understanding on what is to come for you for this month of may i do hope all the best for each and every one of you and any communi any communication connection you make um, during this time, I really feel that you should treasure them and not take it very lightly because there is some form of karmic influences that can aid you and help you in the long run for your future. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. In, and again, if you do want a personal reading with me, and if you feel connected with this reading, you can do and contact me through my website in the stars by .com and book a session with me. And I'll see you guys again next month. Goodbye.